Ladies, it has been a hot moment since I have just popped on to have random conversation. I'm gonna just shoot you guys straight like I have been. So I'm here waiting on my contractor for the flip house. Had to let the other one go and now have somebody else, but it's kind of nice because this person I've known for a really long time, so it works. Got my Tyler binder out, Frank and Covey. I am, yes, coffee in true fashion. Just wanted to pop in and kind of share transparently. So you guys know I have the five kids, 20, 19, 17, six, and three. I'm only 38. And um, the last, last week and this week, my 17 year old has been, he's had struggles. Um, and one of the struggles is mental health and he's on probation. He's been for quite some time. And, you know, last week, an incident happened where I flew into Texas last minute, like same day that I got some information um, to make sure he was okay. But I started talking, you know, I am a crazy bitch when it comes to my kids. I, I'm, when I, on the things I'm relaxed with, I'm relaxed, but the things I'm neurotic with, I'm neurotic and I don't have a gray. And when it came to my 17 year old, his name's Hayden. Um, I just, I have been told for the last several years, stop, stop, stop. Don't talk too much. Don't say too much about him. Quiet. You're going to ruin everything, blah, blah, blah. Well, this process keeps lingering. And I just, for some reason, decided to say, we need to make some changes. And I started talking about his mental health. I started encouraging Hayden to talk about his mental health and it is helping. It's putting a plan in place. The amount of support that we're getting from the people that matter right now to help him be successful through this is huge. It is night and day difference. You know, I'm not mad at them because they're only as good as the information that they were given, but it's such a good reminder. You guys speak the frick up speak up. You know, this mental health thing. If you're a mom, don't shut up about what's wrong with your kid. If something's wrong with them mental health wise or disability or whatever, talk to your kids. Like all I kept telling Hayden is just continue to tell the truth. Speak your mind. Like, and if it gets overwhelming, tell them it's overwhelming. Can you please rephrase it a different way? Let them know what you have loud and proud. Um, and it's just amazing. It's such a good reminder because he's trusting me, which we have had a very on off relationship. He has abandonment issues with me. That's a whole nother recording, probably a podcast episode, but we're going to be working through it. Um, my oldest son is going to give up some habits while Hayden, um, is going to be getting treatment and my daughter is going to give up vaping. I'm giving up drinking because we're gonna do things for Hayden so that he knows he's not the only one that needs to work on things, right? And so that we can all have better mental health, that we can have better health, that we can be in better spaces, that we're doing something together that's easy from maybe other people's perspective, but it's not easy for us, right? Because this phase can take up to six months that he's about to go through. So it's gonna be a journey. Every morning since last week, I've been waking up with severe anxiety still taking my Lamotrigin for my mood stabilizing stuff, but I've added Prozac. My doctor ha gave that to me for an as needed and I haven't used it. And it's like for all the times I haven't used it last week and this week, I'm using it. Um, it's helping a little bit, not helping the whole thing because you're meant to feel through some of these things, right? And I wake up every morning with severe anxiety how I know when my depression and anxiety, when they've peaked completely, like when they are at their ultimate high, it's like my body wants to shut down so I cannot stop yawning. I've been nonstop yawning. Um, so I'm having all those symptoms, but I keep trying to remind myself and you know, the people around Hayden keep reminding me, Sam, take one day at a time, take one day at a time. And you know, y'all, some of y'all know, maybe some of y'all don't know, but I am very faith driven. Um, I do believe in the Lord, I'm not here to be a Bible thumper, but I will tell you that I have continuously said over and over, Lord, you know, my wants and my needs, Lord, you know, my wants and my needs. I put my palms up and 
I keep just saying that over and over again, Lord, you know my wants and my needs. Because some of what I'm realizing is some of my wants and my needs, I don't even know what they all are. I only know a little bit, but I don't know them all. And, um, you know, like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys, encourage your kids to be honest with you. Be, be honest with yourself. Share with people what you have if you're struggling. Get help if you need to. There is not a damn thing wrong with getting help. I tell you, I love psychiatrists. I love doctors. I love counselors because they are the people that will actually help you get through things and whether you don't like pills but you know homeopathic then try something but stop trying to do the damn thing by yourself um because when you get into these places where there is just too much on the plate you're not going to be able to do it by yourself and if you do it by yourself you're going to be drowning longer than if you got the help because they can help you you know get up for air so today is better than it has been yesterday and the day before I get to talk to Hayden every day. I've been really lucky in that. Uh, yesterday I got to talk to him more than once, but I'm learning to appreciate the small moments. I'm learning to really enjoy the fact and so grateful that he's trusting me through this, that he keeps asking me every step of the way. And he's telling the people that need to talk to him, hey, talk to my mom about this because she can help answer some of your questions. Um, six month journey is going to be a long time right and then there's going to be 90 days after that but a day at a time and so just wanted to share that randomly while i'm here waiting for my contractor um wanted to share with you guys why i've been kind of mia because last week when i wasn't doing when i wasn't taking care of hayden with regards to putting him in front of the people that we needed to put him in front of um, i was sleeping i was sleeping and i couldn't really function well and i was crying a whole lot and my mom heart was just really hurting for some reason. Um, Hayden brings me, I've always said this, Hayden brings me so much joy, but the pain I feel for Hayden, he's wired just like me um, from a mental health perspective. And so I think sometimes that freaks us both out, me because I know the thoughts that he's thinking and it freaks him out because mom actually knows what she's talking about when I talk about those kind of thoughts. And um, I just needed a moment. You know, I needed a moment to uh, hurt and to feel like I couldn't breathe for a while. But I'm here, I, I'm here, right? I'm taking day at a time. Um, so for today, I continue to take hour by hour. I continue to feel anxious, but yet excited for my call from Hayden today. And, um, you know, if you guys believe in prayer, good vibes, just continue, please. I'm gonna ask that you send those our way for me, for my sanity to remind me to stay still and just keep saying, Lord, you know my wants and my needs. For my son, just that he continue to remember this is a season um, to stay mentally strong, to continue sharing openly, um, and to continue knowing with confidence that this is the right thing for him. So with that said, I'm gonna check out uh, for today right now, but I will do a planner spread probably in a couple days. I still have to update. I'm trying to get back into the routine of doing my planner this week, like you guys know. So I still have some blanks, but I need to go fill in because I've been getting some appointments um, that I need to add into there. So with that said, if you guys want me to talk about any other real topic, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to discuss it and I'll make sure to tag you too when I, when I do. Bye.